Hey, what is up? Mal here for Unbox Everything, and we just got this. This is what you're gonna be unboxing today, the Xiaomi Mi Electric Scooter Pro 2. Now, if you know me, I regularly travel on my Xiaomi Scooter M365, that's the first electric scooter that Xiaomi put out, it was the non-pro version, but now I just got myself the pro version, Pro 2. And this was on an incredible sale that Xiaomi's stores just had 50% off, so what usually would cost 27,000 was going for 13.5k, which is a really great steal. So I picked one up for myself, and the reason why I picked it up, it's a good enough upgrade over the Xiaomi M365, which I currently have. The big upgrades is the more powerful motor, so when you're going up steep hills or bridges, which I do now more than more often, um, it's going to be able to pull you up faster and not slow down so much while you're going on the incline. Also, it can go farther on a full battery, so it can now take you 45 kilometers on a full charge compared to my first one, the M365, which only can take you 30 kilometers on a full charge. And now that I've been traveling farther, um, I want to be able to do that knowing that my battery's not going to die while I'm out traveling. So that's basically the reason why I decided to upgrade and the steel price really made me do it. I mean, so that's why I wanted to finally upgrade and that steel price is really the factor that made me finally buy it for myself. So we're going to be unboxing it today, setting it up, and you're going to have a closer look now at the Xiaomi Electric Scooter Pro 2. Let's take a close look at the box first. So this is the box, really big, really heavy. Just got the picture of the scooter up on front, and then we've got the words, I mean the name, Mi Electric Scooter Pro 2. And the main feature is the smart app connection, multifunctional control panel, 4 kilometer long range battery like I mentioned, the 300 watt motor with a maximum output of 600 watts, electrical brake and disc brake, and the shock absorbing inflatable tires, and aviation aluminum alloy frame. But that's basically it for the box, so let's open it up and let's get into the unboxing. So in here, there's some instructions. Remove the scooter holder. Take out the electric scooter. Fasten the handlebar stem on the hand headset and put down the kickstand. Attach the handlebar to the stem. Tighten the four screws onto both sides of the stem with the hexagon wrench. So that's how to set it up. Ooh, there it is. In here we got the manual and we've got the hexagon wrench and the screws that are going to be used. We got more paperwork and documents. We got the charging brick and the charging cable. Then we've got this uh, spare tire. So that's really great to see, you know, the included spare tire. In case you get a flat, always really good. Now, let's get the actual scooter out. And here we go, here's the scooter, so we're gonna set it up. Let's remove first all of the plastic. I've had my first scooter for around three years already, so it's really beat up, really dirty, and just seeing something clean and brand new like this is really, really nice. So the first thing we'll do, we'll get the hexagon wrench and we're gonna put the handlebar into the stem. All right, so that locked in place, and now we're gonna use the screws that are included here to screw it in. So we got the screws here, actually there are five screws, one extra, that's really good. And then we're just gonna tighten it, as it says here, put it in those holes. And we're just gonna screw these in place using the hexagon screw um, tool. Now we gotta do it also at the back here, so let's just lock this in place so that the stem stays up. And we do that just by putting, locking this up here, like that, and then slide this in place so it holds it locked up. So that's how the locking mechanism works on this. Again, this part here just, that locks the lock, so you slide that up to lock it, and then this just secures it tightly in place. And that feels really, really sturdy, and it does feel way more sturdy than the original Xiaomi M365. And let's remove the stickers all around. 
And this is a warning to not step on the the rear fender. It is not a rear brake. So now that we finally unboxed it completely, let's take a closer look at the Xiaomi Electric Scooter Pro 2. So it's got really nice inflatable air tires, which is really gonna help with making your ride feel a lot smoother, even without suspension. It's got reflectors on the side to help you be seen at night. And again, just looking at the materials it's made of, super solid, really premium. And then we've got the wiring here, which is now black and the black um, rubber coverings compared to before where they were red, so they stuck out and were seen more, but now they're kind of more hidden and more discreet. Then on the front here, we've got another, is this a light or a reflector? I think it's a reflector. And again, on the other side here, we've got more of the wiring and it's in black. So I really like that it's in black because it doesn't stand out a lot. It really looks hidden. Then of course, going up the stem, we've got the lock mechanism, which I showed you earlier. And I think that this one feels really sturdy. Big improvement from the M365. Then we just got minimal branding here on this stem. This wasn't there on the first one, but now it has it. Again, really great material. Got one more wire which goes to the handbrake. Here is that handbrake, which... So that's a handbrake. Uh, and I love the way the handbrake works on the Xiaomi scooters. Feels really good. And then over here, we've got a simple bell right up front here. Wow, that actually sounds really loud and it's really good compared to the um, original M365 again. So really good upgrade from that. And then the rubber handles feel pretty much the same as the previous scooter. And then over here we got the throttle button. This one's got it uh, in red. That signifies that it's the pro version. And yeah, there is one more sticker here. I forgot to remove that. And then of course we got the panel board, turn that on in just a bit. Now back here we've got the deck which is in a rubber black. So that is also different. I like the rubber black, looks really sleek everything about this with the minimal me branding on the bottom. I mean right there in the center. And then coming down here we've got the kickstand which is gonna help your scooter stand. Uh, that's what a kickstand is for. And then over here we've got the disc brake. So for all of you engineers and you know, um, bike and scooter enthusiasts you can see this is what the braking system looks like but it's this disc brake and you know just that physical disc brake really helps uh, slowing down and braking feel really good then we got more uh, reflectors over here to help you be seen at night and now it comes with this um, uh, what do you call this uh, rear guard mud guard support that way it doesn't rattle around and it feels really solid. It's not gonna be getting damaged or break, you know, when you're going over uh, bumpy surfaces or terrains. And then before that would crack over here because this would be shaking a lot, but now it's reinforced with this. So that's gonna make it much more durable. And then coming back here, we've got the tail light. So this is gonna turn on when you are braking to signify to the riders behind you that you are stopping slowly. And then we've got this over here. This plastic bit is if your country requires you to have a plate number on your scooter, you can place it over here. Coming around to this side. Yeah, again, we just got the reflector. And then the bottom over here. Oh, I forgot to show you on this side. This is the charging port, so this is where you're gonna be charging your scooter, right there, the charging port. And wow, it, it's got a magnet in it, so it connects magnetically, which is much better than the original one. It just wow, it really snaps really easily. So that is the Xiaomi Mi Pro Scooter 2. Let's check out now how it is when we turn it on. So we're gonna hold the power button and it just turns on just like that. Now that it's beeping, I think it wants me to add it to the Mi Home app to complete the setup. So let's add, here we go. In the devices, we can already see the Mi Electric Scooter Pro 2. Press the power button to pair. So let's press that. All right, so now it's paired successfully. So when setting it up, there is this whole process you have to go through, but that will really ensure that your scooter is set up properly and works well. You can update the firmware always through your Mi Home app. So make sure you download that once you get your new scooter so you can set it up properly. So before it starts, we gotta watch this riding guide and this is uh, required so it won't let you escape yet or, go, or continue until you finish watching the safety and how to use your scooter. And now here we can actually click the activate 
and that finally got the um, beeping to stop and here this is the locked motor but you can unlock it now there we go all right so we finally set up the scooter pro 2 and yeah this is showing uh, current bat current battery level your average speed and your current trip how far you've gone on the um, on the you know since you full charged it and then in the settings you got cruise control which I don't usually like I like to be able to you know press the throttle and go at my own speed and not have cruise control on you can do tail light always on or you can have it on only when you are braking or when you have your headlights on energy recovery intensity let's just set that to medium you got a scooter password unit settings basic info battery info speed and mileage riding guide device name uh, i'll probably rename that later manage location share device firmware update so that's all you can do inside the mi home app that will control your new scooter so if we double press this it's going to go to the s which is sport press it again it goes to the um, pedestrian mode which is like i don't know uh not sure how slow it goes but it goes pretty slow and then pre double press it again goes to the d which is like i'm not sure what it stands for but it's like the echo mode so it's going to go i think up 20 miles uh 20 kilometers per hour or you can go the speed which i will always be on then you got your battery indicator over here so it's got three bars out of five so that's around i don't know uh 60 percent or something but you can see that and then if you press once it turns on the headlights press again to turn it off and that's about it so that was my unboxing and first look at the xiaomi electric scooter Pro 2 and this is what I'm going to be using to get around the city, get to my work and my office every day and go out to hang out with friends so I'm really excited for this. This is the end of the unboxing but here now I'm going to be heading out, meeting up with some friends, testing it out so let's see how this performs in real life. Here we go. And that was my day out on the scooter, so I really liked it. Felt really smooth as I was driving, and the motor felt really powerful. I could really tell the difference between the first generation M365 and now the Pro, the Scooter Pro 2. So I'm really happy with this. And if you're looking to upgrade your scooter um, from the original or you know just a you know generation one scooter, you might want to look into getting the Pro 2. But if you do have already a Xiaomi Scooter Pro 1, I don't know if the upgrade would be that much, but definitely for me the Pro 2 is a big upgrade or you could wait for the Xiaomi electric scooter 3 but if you look at the specs the Pro 2 is still better but it's up to you which one you want to get aesthetically the Mi 3 looks really cool but the Mi Pro 2 scooter is still more powerful so that's why I picked this one up for myself but I hope that you enjoyed this little video showing you the unboxing of the Xiaomi electric scooter Pro 2 and I hope it helped you decide if you want to pick this up for yourself. I think if you live just in a small area and need to get around it, then an electric scooter is something I would highly, highly recommend. And real quick, here are some upgrades that I made also on it. So I have my console over here. This is how I set it up. I've got a electric horn over here, a bell. So I just attached it to the top over here. Wait, let me just get some better light on that. There we go. So here is the bell uh, attached here. And I just put it at a 45 degree angle like this. That way when I'm scooting, I actually don't see the bell and, you know, it, it kind of disappears. Anyway, that has a wire that runs over here and it runs to, it runs here on the front and runs to this, which is where the bell is. And if I press this, it's going to make a really loud noise. Um, and then I just put it down here. That way my thumb rests on it so I can press the horn anytime I want. And over here now, this is my turn signals. And that connects to the back of my helmet. So if I'm going to be turning, all I got to do is press the left or the right. And then the left and right is going to be blinking here. And the center button is for just the, you know, the middle button over here. I mean the middle light. So I have my turn signals and my horn set up and that's how I have my setup for my scooter because the right hand is here for the throttle as I go and my left hand over here. I usually keep my hand on the horn. Um, that's good but that's not really going to be heard by cars. So I have the horn over here 
and then of course we've got the turn signals over here. So this thumb is doing a lot and that's how I do my setup. And if you want to get this for yourself, I will leave links in the description so you can buy one for yourself. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and as always, I will see you back here next time as I continue to unbox everything. Shoo.